country, the 2023 Discover the Unexpected Fellowship. These amazing young ladies and gentlemen are driving change with the summer experience of a lifetime. Brought to you by the 2024 Chevy Trax. To learn more about the program and follow the student's experience, visit nnta.org slash chevydtu. Every Sunday at 9 a.m. and again at 9 p.m., the Black Information Network brings you The Black Perspective, an hour-long original program that focuses on the topics most important to you. News, interviews, and discussions with thought leaders, entrepreneurs, and politicians who are making a difference in the black community every day. It was young people who really led the fight. Get The Black Perspective, Sundays at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. on The Black Information Network. Matters to the black community. A lawsuit that was looking for reparations related to the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre has been dismissed. It's on the Black Information Network. Uh, 24 7 news and analysis. The Tennessee Department of Transportation is seizing land from black farmers and landowners using eminent domain. You'll only get here. The Bay Area's BIN 910 and on the iHeartRadio app. The DC comic book and movie franchise Wonder Woman features the story of a beautiful Amazon superhero warrior. And once they finally destroy Ares, the German army will be freed from his influence. But did you know there was also a black Wonder Woman as well? Created by writer Don Heck, her name was Nubia, and she made her comic book debut in 1973 as DC Comics' first black superhero. Similar to Wonder Woman, Nubia has super strength, magical weaponry, and comes from a floating island where her family rules. Wonder Woman and Nubia met for the first time in a special DC Comics issue, and the two battled in combat before becoming friends. In 1975, actress Teresa Graves was scheduled to play a black female superhero in the Wonder Woman TV series that was based on the movie character, but the character was never written into the TV script. DC Comics reintroduced Nubia to readers in the early 2000s, and they finally bring her to the big screen in the Wonder Woman movie franchise. And Information Network. Staying informed has never been easier. Tell your smart device to play the Black Information Network station on iHeartRadio. The opinions, beliefs, and viewpoints expressed in this commentary are those of the author and do not necessarily represent those of BIN and its founding partners and employees. I'm Mo Kelly on BIN with your two-minute warning. White nationalism is not to be confused with patriotism. White nationalism is a social, political, ethnic view of what America should be along racial lines. White nationalism is not an expression of patriotism of Americans who just happen to be white. It's an ethnic worldview. This is not open to debate. But in this, the 21st century of disinformation, you have people like Alabama Senator and marginal football coach Tommy Tuberville who are as dumb as a rock trying to submit us with verbal jujitsu and argue that white nationalism has no ties to racism. Why you continue to insist that White nationalists are American. Totally against racism. White nationalists are racist. I'm totally against that. The definition of a white nationalist is the one.
had no contest to a misdemeanor charge. In return, Kamara will have to do community service and pay the victim $100,000 for his medical bills. The NFL All-Star was part of a group of men that beat up Darnell Green as they left the club. The end of the court case means the NFL can now discipline Kamara and a suspension could be coming. Meanwhile, Georgia football coach Kirby Smart is still trying to resolve the off-field issues that had plagued his program in 2023. Smart said that he will be the first to admit we haven't solved the issue with players on the team being arrested or cited for traffic violations. The two-time national head coach also mentioned that he is constantly looking and searching for ways to resolve the problem. Following freshman outside linebacker Samuel Mpemba's ticket for speeding recently, Bulldogs players have had at least 11 traffic-related moving violations since January 15th. And new rule changes are coming ahead of next season. The Athletic reports the NBA Board of Governors has approved two rule changes for the 2023-24 season. The league will award coaches a second challenge if their first one is successful during games. The NBA will also adopt a flopping rule, which will award opposing teams a technical foul free throw. Players who flop will be assessed a non-unsportsmanlike technical, which won't count towards a personal foul or lead to ejection. Sports at 14 at 44 minutes past each hour. I'm Morgan Wood on the Black Information Network. I'm Bill Black with another Bet You Didn't Know music fact. And now, my friends, let's spend some time talking about one of my favorite singers in the world, Miss Anita Baker. And now let's play a song from the Boomerang soundtrack. Now, I know you're probably saying, Bill Black, what does Anita Baker have to do with the Boomerang soundtrack? Tell you. LM Babyface did the boomerang most. Yeah.